Although there are excellent models today from large companies like OpenAI or open source models from Facebook, we wanted to make sure as the UAE that we have our own footprint in this market, that we have our own capabilities that we can leverage and grow. It doesn't mean we won't use other people's models, it doesn't mean we will not leverage other partners, but it means we have our own anchor piece. And this journey started last year where we released more frankly to prove to ourselves at the beginning that we are able to release open source models that really rival the largest players globally. And when we did that in March, April last year, our model, the Falcon model, was rated globally by an independent body as the best performing AI model globally beating all other large companies in this regard. Come uh, September, other models were released between April and September from Facebook and, and other guys. In September, we released another model from Falcon, the 180 billion model, which again rivaled and beat every other open source model out there. That gave us the encouragement to say, even though we are a smaller country, even though we have smaller teams, even though although people say we have a lot of funding, actually we spent a fraction of what the other guys have spent, we are able to punch way above our weight. Now we're making sure we are ready as an organization, we're ready as a country to have our own models that can serve in the different sectors that we said, and that's something that we can rely on ourselves, and you will see a number of other releases happening in the next few months. Talk to me about the decision to open source. Why do that? I think there are two critical choices when referring to AI. You can leverage AI, and, and forget Falcon for a second, you can leverage AI by using a closed source model that belongs to a company. And I think there are many use cases that's fine to do. But if we are leveraging AI to deal with sensitive data, in the oil and gas sector, in the medical sector, in the defense sector, and in the government sector, it means if you're using a proprietary model, it means your entire data that you need processing, that you need the AI to process, is actually going to that vendor's server. That vendor's AI server is processing it and is sending you back the information. Some use cases is fine, but sensitive data use cases, this can be in my view, detrimental to the sovereignty of a country, to the sensitivity of the data you have. So I think there will be two types of AI models out there in the world. There will be the proprietary models that are served centrally by the vendors, and there will be other models that can be served while on-prem with the client or on-prem under the client's control that can can act as a white box instead of a black box, not just about the sensitivity of the data, but it's about ensuring that you don't wake up next day and the AI that you're using, someone changes an algorithm in it that instead of, when you're asking it a question, instead of saying left, it starts saying right. Instead of saying up, it starts saying down. If you don't control that AI, you have no control on what that AI is going to say. And if it's going to be part of the fabric of our society, I think... Countries, companies, and individuals need to be conscious what AI is using for which use case. And us opening up Falcon as an open source is a contribution to the world to be able to say, come join hands with us. And we've launched something called the Falcon Foundation, very similar to the Linux Foundation. And you'll see a number of activities happening now where we are encouraging other players from around the world to contribute to that open source so that we gain and they gain, and we can all build our own proprietary solutions on top of it. And hence, that's a key motivation for us to create an alternative rather than just having one option to the world.